Welcome to the Total Body Workout Part 2. Are you ready to tone your legs, arms, and abs? We're going to start off with a warm up to get our blood flowing and heart rate up. Let's kick things off with high knees. Stand with your feet hip width apart, bring your knees to your chest, and move at a running pace. Come on, you can do this. Time for jumping jacks. Bend your knees slightly and jump into the air. Touch your fingertips at the top. It's time for suicides. Pick up those feet and skip or run from side to side in your room. Okay, I know you felt that one. It's not going to be easy, but you're going to get stronger. Check your heart rate. We're going to do this warm up routine one more time. First step, we have high knees. Alternate by bringing your knees to your hips. Place your hands in front of your hips so you know how high you should be bringing your knees. Next step, we have jumping jacks. Remember your form, touch your fingertips at the top. It's time for suicides. Pick up those feet and skip or run from side to side in your room. I want to see you go faster. Let's move into dynamic stretching. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and extend your arms lateral. Circle your arms backwards using small controlled motions. Let's get into side to side lunges. Move your body from left to right. Keep a flat back as you switch sides. For more stability, you can place your hands on your knees.
let's get into our first round. This round has three sets and requires your heaviest dumbbell. Let's keep working towards achieving your fitness goals. First up, we have alternating curtsy lunges. Stand with your feet, hip width apart, and have your heaviest dumbbells in your hands. Step one foot backwards until it crosses behind your resting foot. Lunge down as deeply as possible, hovering your knee a couple of inches off the floor. Slowly return to the standing position and alternate to the other leg. It's time for overhead tricep extensions. With feet shoulder width apart and core tight, hold a dumbbell with both hands. Place the dumbbell behind your head. Your elbows should be pointing forward. Extend your arms above your head towards the ceiling, then slowly lower the dumbbell behind your head. Let's get into our next exercise, jump squats. Stand with your feet hip width apart. Start in a squat position, push your butt back as if you were sitting in a chair. Then press into your feet and explode off the floor. Jump as high as you can. Then drop back down into a squat and jump again. Up in the sky. Let's take a break. Don't give up. I believe you're making progress. Even if it's slow progress, it's better than no progress. First up, we have our curtsy lunges. The curtsy lunge is a great exercise to stabilize your hips. This exercise targets our quads and glutes. Let's keep working. Look in, look out. This is what it's all about. Every chance you'll ever take, running down this rainbow road. Every dragon heart you break, every hand you'll ever hold. Every time you really see, where you are is where you'll be. The sky will shine. Up in the stars That's where you are Up in the stars That's where you are That's where you are Next up, we have our tricep extensions. I want to see you crush your fitness goals by doing a few more reps of these tricep extensions.
time for squat jumps. Let's get our heart rate up. This is a great exercise to strengthen the quads, glutes, and hamstrings. Okay, let's take a break. Stop thinking of excuses to end this workout. Stay with me until the end. Wow, you've made it to the last set in round one. Let's continue to work our legs with alternating curtsy lunges. I want you to have toned legs by the end of this program. Up next, we have overhead tricep extensions. This is one of the most effective exercises to work your triceps. Try to keep your arms next to your ears as you lower the weight behind you. Come on, you can do this. This is our last set of squat jumps. This is the exercise that's going to change your body. You want those nice toned legs, you have to work for them. Yes, you've made it to round two. You're the definition of leveling up. In this round, you're going to use just your body weight. Let's get into our first exercise, heel taps. Lie face up on your mat with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Keep your arms by your sides. Raise your head and shoulders off the mat. Bend your torso to the left as you reach your left hand to tap your left heel. Alternate sides. Okay, it's time for the most challenging exercise in this workout, up and downs. Start with both elbows on the mat. Put your right hand on the mat and straighten your right elbow. Then put your left hand on the mat and straighten your left elbow. Coming into a full plank. Lower your right elbow to the mat and then your left, coming into an elbow plank.
It's time to work our glutes. Let's get into fire hydrants. Start on all fours. Lift your left leg away from your body at a 45 degree angle. Keep your knee bent. Lower your leg to starting position to complete one rep. switch sides. Let's work the other leg. Okay, go ahead and take that break. While you're resting, I want you to reflect on your fitness goals. Remember, you're doing this for you, and I believe you can do it. This is our second set. First up, we have heel taps. Stay focused, you got this. Up next, we have up and downs. This is a great exercise to work your core, shoulders, and legs. You should see improvements in your posture if you stay committed to this workout. Let's get into our fire hydrants. Fire hydrants will strengthen and tone your glutes and core. They'll also help to improve the way your hips move and your posture. This exercise also reduces back pain. It's time to switch sides. You've made it to the last set of round two. I am so proud that you did not give up. Let's get into the first exercise in this set, heel taps. The obliques are the main muscles worked during this exercise. This is a great exercise for strengthening your core.
let's get into our up and downs. I want to see you win, so keep going. No excuses. Time for our last set of fire hydrants. Don't stop when it hurts. Stop when this video is done. Come on, make me proud. Time to switch sides one last time. Well done. You rocked this workout. I can't wait to see you in the next one.